Hey guys, it's Alyssa from Online Fabric Store and today we are going to be making a Halloween themed centerpiece. I used clear thread to make this look like it was floating so it was all spooky. So let's get into how you can make your own. Cut the felt sheets in half so you have nine by six inch rectangles. Using this cute little bat template that you can find for free on our website, cut out five bat shapes. Also cut out the same number of three by four inch pieces of faux fur. Roll the fur up and glue it in place. Then take a piece of thread and tie off the top third of the fur. This is going to be the bat's head. I brush the fur with my fingers to make it more defined. Place the body in the center of the felt and glue it in place. Then wrap the wings around the body and glue those in place as well. Do this to all of your bats. You might wanna cover your workspace cause this part can get a little bit messy. I'm using glass jars to make different sized ghosts, but if your form can't be washed, you're gonna to wanna to cover that with plastic as well. Drape one or two pieces of white tulle over the top of your form and spray it in place with liquid starch. Keep layering the tool and spray it with the starch. After the first few layers, I balled up a piece of tool and sprayed it down and then placed it between two layers to create a more defined head. I ended up using about five to seven layers of tool on each ghost. Don't remove the tool from the form until it's completely dry, which for me actually took overnight. Once the tool has dried, remove the ghosts from the form. Cut out some felt circles and glue them on, making little ghost eyes. Now, put on your adventure hat and find a tree branch that fits your space. Clean up any loose dirt, and if you want, you can spray paint the stick black. I'm not going to paint mine because I really liked the look of the stick, but it does add a little extra spookiness to your project. Welcome to my dining room. I'm going to finish this project up in place to make sure that it looks symmetrical. I started by hanging the stick from my chandelier. Having another person help with this made it much easier, but it's not necessary. To give you that floating, suspended in space look, use clear thread to hang the stick at least six inches away from the lowest point on your chandelier. If you don't have a chandelier, find a stick that has a lot of vertical lift and place it on the table using a little double-sided tape to keep it in place. Take the bats and glue them to the stick by their legs. When I placed the bats, I pulled the legs a little closer together and that gave them more dimension. Also, use clear string to tie the ghosts up. The easiest way to do this was by stringing the thread in and then out the other side of the head and then tying a knot up in the thread so the ghost hangs wherever you want it to. I especially liked this method because I was able to move the ghosts around whenever I want. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more crafting tutorials, tips, and tricks, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. The materials you will need for this project are black felt sheets, black bearskin faux fur, white tulle, a stick, black spray paint, clear thread, a hot glue gun, and liquid starch.